Hello. I want to start this video off with a um, Grace for Today one minute devotional. Um, for today, it was very important. It was a message that I really needed. Um, it's about ang relieving anxiety. It says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Matthew 6, 34. In times of pressure and stress, when it feels as if hope is dying, anxiety takes root in your heart and mind and flourishes. Anxiety is the product of a confused mind and little faith. One way of overcoming a feeling of anxiety is to determine its cause. For many people, their anxiety is vague and undefinable, but it continues to erode their spirit and mind with disastrous consequences. Take your anxieties to God and ask Him to be the master of the situation. If you do this, you are no longer allowing the devil to attack your calm approach to life or allowing anxiety to spoil tomorrow. And there's a small prayer. It says, Holy Spirit of God, help me not to be anxious about tomorrow because you have every day in your eternal and loving hand. Amen. Um, that was really special for me because work has been extremely, uh, it's extremely stressful right now. And it's not just the work. It's actually mostly the politics at work which I am amazed. When I started working for the government, I knew there would be some politics and nepotism. There just is. That's just the way it is. It's the way it's always been, and it'll always be that way. But it is extremely um, frustrating and um, very stressful when you see people get promoted at work that actually don't deserve it, they don't really work. It's just because of something maybe they have on somebody or um, maybe somebody higher up just likes them so they keep promoting them. Um, where I work, they actually developed a job description for a level C director which gets paid with benefits about $173,000 a year. And they developed a job description for this person that requires a high school diploma or GED, high school diploma or equivalent, for a level C director position. We do not have any directors in our organization that are a level C that only have a high school diploma. I'm a level H, which is way down on the list from level C, and I have a master's degree in accounting and finance. I have a dual degree, and I don't make anywhere near that, and I never will because I go in and do my job, and I'm not there to make friends. And, um, Politics is rampant. So if you want to get anywhere in a government position, you need to make friends. That's all I can say. But that situation to me was, um, I'm a Libra, so I'm the fair police. I like everything to be fair and equal. Um, but that just threw me for a loop. But I've handed it over to God, and he'll take care of it. Uh, Maybe that person needs to be in that position for some reason. Sometimes things happen that we don't understand, but there's a, a greater plan sometimes down the road. So we'll see what happens. And uh, I am off work for a whole week now. This is our summer vacation. We have rented a, ha we're doing a staycation this year. Uh, we have rented a house on Anna Maria Island where we used to live and we're going to stay there for a week and hopefully get some rest and relaxation, go to the beach, uh, get our toes in the sand and not worry about all these worldly things. Just enjoy being together and um, just relax and not worry about work, not worry about the bills, not worry about 
anything except just loving each other and um, having a good time. Because those moments are rare these days. I think it started before the pandemic. Everything kind of started going off the track. But um, you can't do anything about other people, but you can control your life. And it's better for you if you can take control of your life and make sure that you are having as much happiness and joy and love in your life as you can. And uh, that's all I'm going to say on that. We'll start looking at some stuff. I'm sure you don't want to see that fan going round and round. We'll start looking at some stuff I found um, at Goodwill. I'll pick up where I left off in the last video. I actually ha had a phone call I had to take, so I didn't even get to to film an outgoing message. So I apologize for that, but it happens sometimes. This is a set, so let me see if I can find the whole set. Oh no. I probably can't. Oh, let me show you this. I got some red glass that I really love. These bowls were $2.99 each. And they're a real rich, deep ruby red. And I'm not sure what who makes these, but they are gorgeous. And I can't wait to look them up. I think I did look them up at one point, but I forgot. Because I don't think I would have paid $2.99 each for bowls if I didn't know who made them. But it's not, not registering right now. Let's see how many did I get. Four. Five. Looks like I got five of the ruby red bowls. And they were $2.99 each at Goodwill. Unfortunately, Goodwill has started pricing their stuff a little bit high. Um, now that there's there's a trend right now of thrifting. So, um, it's a lot more expensive to go to the Goodwill now than it used to be because of all the thrifting that's going on. People have caught on to the fact that you can make money uh, reselling. And uh, I just do it for the fun of it and, and to keep my um, son's name out there and alive, even though he's not with us anymore. I wanted to always have a store with his name on it and B. Thomas Books and Gifts is it. And um, my husband wants me to open a um, a brick and mortar store and name it Mad Zen because that's my gamer name and that's also the name I use on YouTube. Uh, somebody had already taken the Mad Zen with only one N at the end, so I had to add an N on mine. But that's that's my name. If you play games or Anywhere on online, I'm Mad Zen on Twitter, uh, almost everywhere that you don't have to give your real name. Uh, that's my gamer name and my what I go by. M A D Z E N, which is kind of uh, weird. But I bought this cup. This is a ceramic cup. It's pretty heavy duty. I got it for $1.99. It is signed on the bottom, but I haven't looked up the marking yet. And the camera is not really focusing good on it. But it kind of looks like a JS in a square. Looks like it maybe was stamped on there. But I just, there was only one of them. I wish they'd had a set of them. But it's got such a funny glaze on it. Just a uh, really interesting glaze. And I just couldn't leave it behind. And there's no damage on it. The handle's on real well. Um, so I found this very interesting. I might actually put this in my dude show because this looks like a, a mug a, a guy would like. 
I think it would fit in a guy's hand better than mine. So I might put that in my dude show if you're interested in it. Um, this is more of my Italian um, dishes that I got. Um, I got only two cups. There were only two that didn't have chips. And I only buy things that don't have chips usually. I gave $3.99 each for the mugs. They're made in Italy. I really like those. And they have the ruffled edges around the top. And I think I'll be keeping all the Italian dishes that I bought. Because I can use them when we have company. And our company is going to start coming in right after our vacation's over next weekend. Um, Aunt Janie's going to come to visit. So I'm excited about that. My husband's excited about that. I found a Fenton platter, amber platter, for $3.99. It's in really good condition. Uh, I love Fenton. Um, it sells very well. I'm not a collector of Fenton, so this will definitely get sold. If you're a Fenton collector, be watching out for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on eBay or um, Etsy or just auction it off on whatnot. And these are some saucers from that Italian set that we bought. I'm going to just go ahead and wash them and get the stickers off of them and put them in the, in the cupboard. Because those are definitely staying with me. Uh, my husband and I made a decision we were going to, we over the years have collected pieces, bits and pieces of different sets of dinnerware and things. And we even had three sets of china. Oh my God. My mom had given me two sets and I think my husband had a set someone had given him. And we could not get rid of it. I, it we had yard sales. We put it on Facebook Marketplace. Um... And I wasn't really doing the thrifting to resell yet. And I think we eventually ended up giving it to Goodwill or Salvation Army or um, maybe it was uh, the women's shelter, Spark. Um, the women's shelter, they have a thrift store. I love going there. I always find interesting things there because they have a lot of um, wealthy clientele that... Um, donates to them and everybody there is a volunteer they are they don't get paid so just out out of the kindness of their heart the people that work there they work there for free that's pretty amazing to me once i retire and don't have to work i think i'm gonna go and volunteer there um i like their mission it's for women and children that are in bad situations that um they need help getting out and uh that's a very important opportunity to give people um you know it's not always the man that's the problem the women are just as crazy as the men are these days but um a lot of women are uh, kind of under under their husband's or boyfriend friend's thumb because they won't let them work so they have no way of supporting themselves and sometimes you just need a hand getting out of a bad situation. Um, narcissists are very charming at first. And you don't realize what's happening until you're in the middle of it. And don't realize how to get out. I've been in that situation before. When my daughter was a baby. Um, I didn't want to work and leave her in daycare. So I put up with a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have. Um, but then... Um, after she got two years old and was able to talk, I got out of the situation and went to work um, with the help of my sister. Um, family is very important, but it's unfortunate some people don't have family. So they just need need a little, little boost to get them uh, situated. And I think that's a very important thing. I think people that don't take care of each other in society are not doing the right thing. I 
found this little Yankee candle lamp. And even though it's contemporary and um, Yankee candle, I think it's just a gorgeous little lamp got holes in the bottom so the light shines through even on the bottom and it's sitting on this pretty pedestal and it's a sage green color which I love. Um, my whole front formal living room and dining room is painted in a in a white sage color so I'm partial to this color. Um, some people call it celadon and uh, I'm really really digging that. I hope uh, to keep it maybe. And here's some of the bowls from the Italian set. Really pretty dishes. We didn't get like a full set because they didn't have it without chips and cracks on it. But we got as many as we could of the set that wasn't chipped or cracked. So it looks like we were able to get four bowls which is good. Those were $1.99 each. Got to clean those up and put them in the cupboard for when we have company soon. And I hope I didn't break anything getting that out of there. Good Lord. There's so much. I bought this baggie for $6.99. It's got some metal circus animals in it. It's got a cloisonne um, ornament, hanging ornament in it. It's got this looks like a road runner right there. Um, and then all these metal things with the little gold balls on them. And it's got this weirdo little purple looks like marble or something. Um, animal. So I got this. Um, I'm interested to find out about the circus animals and uh, the cloisonne always sells well and I paid $6.99 for this whole bag of stuff. So it'll be interesting to get it opened up and see see what I got. Now this thing, oh my god, this is so sweet. I really need to get this into my coastal sale that's happening this weekend. This little baby girl mermaid sleeping in a clamshell is just adorable. I gave $1.99 for her. Can you believe that? She is just so sweet. The expression on her little face sleeping looks so peaceful. So that's a great piece. I love that piece. And I love mermaids. I don't know if you ever noticed, but I do have a mermaid picture right here. It's kind of covered up with shells and candles and the picture of my dog. But um, my mother-in-law Kay got that when she was here living and she didn't take it with her. So I adopted it into my decor because... I do love mermaids. I have several. This is a piece of fused glass. I haven't looked this up yet either, but it's very pretty and colorful. Um, I got it for $2.99 and it has a little wavy design to it. It's kind of got a little flare, little added flare. And here's some more of the red glass. I paid $1.99 for the little saucers. Let's see how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a whole set of them. And actually, it was red tag day, 50% off. So I only gave a dollar for each of these. So six dollars for the set of six. I forgot about that. It was red tag day. Okay, what else we got here? Then this stuff came from a um, youth center thrift store. It's also volunteer based. And uh, 
I got these interesting, uh, I think these are from a hotel, but aren't they interesting? And they have Paris on them. I'll be interested to look these up. I got them because I like the square bottoms. And I'll be honest with you, I don't remember what I paid for this set. But, you know, I don't spend a lot of money. You know, the most I spend is like maybe $12 on something. Unless it's for myself. But to resell, I, I keep it realistic. Because these things, you know, you enjoy going shopping, but these things, sometimes something you love, nobody else loves it, you know? So, you get stuck with it for a little while until the right person comes along. Oh, I must have got a set of four of these, because there's another one. Wow. There's probably another one here. I thought they were poison glasses. Um, those are very expensive and they sell very well, but they're actually, I think, from a hotel in Paris. So we'll see what those are worth. And then I have some more Goodwill stuff, looks like, in the bottom of that bag. Oh, I have some more Fenton. Fenton Bowls. Um, got those for $1.99, believe it or not. But I only was able to get two of them. That's all I had. And here's some Fenton Cups in the amber. These were $1.99 each. And I think I got like four of those. There was a lot of the Fenton Cups. I got four. And one Fenton Chalice. And it was $2.99. And then... Uh, I think I already showed you these. The plates. Yeah. I think they were in my last video. I just haven't had time to take them out and clean them up and put them in my cabinet. So I guess that's all for today. And uh, I'm not sure about my auction. I started thinking about it. It's supposed to be tomorrow night after we get over to Anna Maria Island. But I started thinking about I have to ship things within two days after the auction. And I would have to carry my printer with me and hook it up to my laptop. And I'm thinking about just having my auction tonight instead. Um, I don't like to do that because I like to have a set time that I do my auction every weekend so people know and get used to the time that, wa that wants to watch. But I may actually do a pop-up sale tonight so I can get everything shipped out in the morning before we go on vacation. We'll see. It's all coastal items. Um, beachy theme. Um, fishes. Frogs. Um, some artwork. Some kitschy items. Um, everything's a coastal decor theme. So, um, I'm going to try to get my little baby girl mermaid in there. And we'll see what happens. And this... I'm pretty sure there were other pieces to this. Or this might have been in that bag of owl things that I bought for six fifty. It's a little bell. It's a of course a souvenir piece. It says Florida on it, but it's still cute. Um so I will leave you with this thought. Um be good to each other, love each other. Try to be happy. Bring joy to your life. Bring joy to others and it'll it'll reflect back to you. Uh, don't be greedy, dishonest, 
um, because those things come back to you as well. And we all need positive things in our life right now because we want to leave the world a better place for our children and our grandchildren if we're so blessed to have them. Um, love you all. Thanks for watching. Join my auction either tonight or tomorrow night and uh, get you some uh, coastal decor that's really pretty. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.